This will be the third time I've done this video. Two times previously it just stopped in mid-process. Okay. The sweetest little lady that you've ever seen in your life, ever met. Smile, everything else. Uh, good hard worker. Older lady. Good, uh, I ain't gonna say how old. She might get offended. But I think she's one of the sweetest people I ever met in my life. And we was discussing the border policy today on a tangent off of uh, politics. I'm not sure what her beliefs are, but I do know that she believes that people should be able to come across the border without being vetted to be saved from their countries. I have no problem with that, except for the vetting part. Um, I fought, I mean, I joined the military so that I could do two things, protect my family and keep a place here safe for others that are being abused and under tyranny in their countries, which a lot of it is. We still have the greatest country in the world. No matter how bad it's messed up, this is still the greatest country in the world. For that one reason, or for those two reasons. But she believes they should be unvetted, or that they should come in. For what reasons, I do not know. Uh, maybe she watches the biased media, whatever. I'm not sure, so I won't say. So I pointed out a fact of an illegal alien here recently that just ran over a sheriff's deputy with a front end loader. It could have done way much more damage. This man tried to run. If he would have gotten away, we could have never caught him because we didn't know who he was. Um, he had no documentation. We would have never found him, but they caught him. And that's the devil for you. This, this guy would have never been caught, but thank the Lord they caught him. He was an undocumented, illegal alien with no license to drive a forklift, obviously, because if you're undocumented and illegal, how are you going to get a license to drive a front-end loader, which is a, not a forklift, a front-end loader, which is a very huge piece of equipment working on an interstate now, people. Everybody knows who manages interstate uh, job sites, mainly federal and state. In this case, state just lost a, a, a deputy, a man that his job is to protect others. And uh, you know what her answer was, though? Oh, that happens every day. I mean, she's already done said that undocu undocumented aliens should be allowed in the country. And that, you know, with no vetting or anything else, I, you know, I mentioned that fact, you know, they should be checked out. Well, they've been coming in ever since whatever, you know, bad people's been coming in. No, they haven't. That's what the media wants you to believe. And at this point, we have over 2 million people that's come across the border. How many of them? We already done caught, what, 400 and something terrorists? I mentioned that to her. All that just went right over her head, and she makes up uh, reasons that she thinks are valid in her mind. But let me give you the reason why she said when I said a deputy had died from one of these illegal aliens right here recently. I mean, I feel for this deputy's family if, she's, if they're watching. I have compassion for y'all. Um, anyone that fights for a good reason should be remembered and not thought of in this way. She said, well, that happens all the time. There's murders and everything else. I said, yes, ma'am, that's what criminal justice system's for. But just to think for a second, that it was okay for this deputy to die because other people die all the time. Um, it, some, will someone out there please explain the logic behind this to me? Because I don't understand how that makes it right. Just because there's murders and everything in the world and an undocumented alien comes in and kills a Florida sheriff's deputy, or I'm pretty sure he was a sheriff's deputy, it's okay. Why? Because you're the one that said undocumented aliens could come in, or uh, you're trying to cover for yourself, you're trying to make it right in your mind. Why is it okay for a deputy to die from someone who shouldn't have been even driving that, much less even be here in the United States? Why is that okay? Because other murders happen all the time, or other bad things happen all the time. Why? 
Ex someone please explain to me what her thinking is because it makes no sense, no logical sense whatsoever. And I'm telling you, this is one of the sweetest old ladies you'll ever meet. And there's so many like this that it's it's unreal. I mean, they're, they're by far not as many as what the media is pushing. And, and maybe they think that there's more of them than more people that has logic and common sense. I think maybe they think that too. But why is it okay for a sheriff's deputy to die by an illegal alien driving an e illegally driving a piece of equipment that had the capability of killing way more people because other people die all the time? What kind of logic is that? These people should be vetted. And people like Trump needs to uh, verify the point that he's not against aliens coming here from tyranny or oppression or anything else and living here in the United States they need to specify to all of these people because that's why they think they should be allowed to come in uh, without no documentation is because they're not allowed in any other way or that it hasn't been happening in the past and that all of the bad people coming across the border has always happened this needs to be addressed uh, because these people believe in their mind that this is the right thing. Um, like I said, this is one of the sweetest little old ladies you'll ever meet. And she believes it in her mind, people. There's not, it's not just her. There's thousands upon thousands of people out there that think like this and are good people. They need to be educated. They need to be taught in a logical, common sense way that it is bad for people to come across the border unvetted and then go places that we don't even know where they're at. We don't know who they are. If they ever do something wrong, they're going to get away with it if they, if they leave the scene and then they're possibly going to go do it again. Um, there's, there, the re, there, someone needs to explain to these people why those rules are there, just like the rules that they have to follow. And why they have a lock on their door, yet they don't want to lock on the country. I mean, they have a lock on their door for a reason, but yet they don't want uh, their border protected. Uh, this makes no logical sense to me, people. The media has people confused. Uh, we need to correct this government. It's our government. We are not theirs. We need to fix this problem. We need to educate these people in a nice way. We don't need to be calling them names and stupid shit like that. We don't need to be arguing. We need to be putting forth common sense and, and logic and in sound reasoning for rules and why rules are in place. Because these people have been brainwashed people into believing things that just is not true, makes no logical sense, and has no common sense value whatsoever. This lady has a lock on her door because she wants to vet who comes into her house. But yet she thinks, honestly thinks, that the border should be unsecured and these people should be unvetted and just allowed to go wherever they want to. But I guarantee you, if you ask her, can someone just walk in your house and start walking around without you knowing who they are, where they are, or anything else? And you have to stand outside. What would she say then? This is logical and common sense, people. These are the things these people need to be taught. We need to get rid of this government, get a good government in office. We need to get rid of the media. We need to get rid of the warmongers. The corporate people that pay for all of this, the lawyers that help them, the big pharma that has turned everything into a crisis to make money, we need to fix this, people. Talking about it and, and not doing anything about it without, you know, if you're just sitting there knowing this stuff and, and sitting back and waiting on somebody else to do it for you, it ain't never going to happen, people. You got to get active. 
you got to start making videos, explaining things to people. Talk to your neighbor that believes this crazy idea stuff. Give them some common sense. If you don't know how, learn. Or start voting at a low level to get rid of these politicians that are in office forever and ever and ever. Put them in jail when we find out something that they're doing wrong. And then we need to start, you know, just quit buying things that make these corporations richer, which are taking your rights away. You have to act. Speaking and thinking. Thinking most definitely isn't going to do anything. Speaking will help because they're shutting it off fast. Doing is going to be the most thing, best thing that you can do. And I ain't talking about go out and shoot people or anything else. I'm talking about not buying products. I'm talking about reading the word so that you are not infected by the devil and his ideas. Um, understanding what the truth is. Finding out the truth on your own, not taking it for word from somebody else. Another thing she said, by the way, and I've already posted this video, and, and, and like I said, I think the world of this lady because she's as sweet as she can be. She said, oh, the, the Vietnam veterans was the ones that was treated the worst. I mentioned I almost died in Portsmouth Naval Milita in Military Hospital. And then, you know, she's talking about, well, the, the veterans that had it the worst was uh, the Vietnam veterans, because I grew up with them. Okay, well, if you grew up with them and you wasn't in the war, then you was probably, not maybe not, but more than likely you was propagated, just like you are today, into thinking that they was baby killers. And now that everybody knows that they wasn't baby killers, they don't have enough common sense to realize that the media and the government was the ones that allowed and, and, and helped this to, to happen. They're the ones that turned American people against their own soldiers when they came home and started calling them baby killers and then wouldn't help them. Um, yet they don't remember who caused this. And, and they don't, and it, the very same people, the media, is the ones telling them now that the Vietnam veterans was treated badly. Yeah, because of the media telling everybody that they was bad people, duh. This needs to be explained to these people. Common sense, don't raise your voice. Talk to them like you have sense. Be polite. Don't be too critical. But these people need to be educated. Act. Don't just sit there on the couch and whine and cry. Go and talk to these people nicely and give them common sense, everyday facts. You know, next time I see her, if she wants to bring up the, uh, the argument or the conversation, which I didn't consider an argument, it was a debate, I'm going to ask her. I'm going to say, you have a lock on your door, don't you? She's going to say, yeah. I'm going to say, why is it there? So I don't let bad people in my house. Okay, so you want to check out people when they knock on your door before you let them in. Hmm. Okay, what's to say that uh, they passed a law that said that anybody could walk in your house anytime they wanted to, look around, and you had to wait outside cause you, so that you didn't know what they was doing. How would you like that? Hmm. How is that different? than people running around in the country killing sheriff's deputies. And uh, we don't even know who they are. Wake up, people.